What is up, YouTube? This is T Quentin One coming at you with another video. And today I'm going to talk to you about Stranger Things, which is a new Netflix original series. When I first heard about this show, I thought it sounded really interesting. It was kind of seemed like a Spielbergian horror TV show, and I just think that sounds cool. When I first started watching the show, however, I was unimpressed, but I stuck with it for the long haul, and I'm glad I did because Stranger Things is. Well, it's kind of brilliant. Uh, it's basically like Super 8. I want to get that comparison out of the way first because, yes, it is a lot like Super 8. But whereas that was more of a coming-of-age story and the monster stuff was just background noise, I would classify this show as scare-driven. And a lot of the scares are pretty effective. Some in particular near the end were quite unnerving. I also really like how grounded the characters were. I mean, as insane as the shit that happens on this show is... These characters are so down to earth that it almost gives off this sense that this kind of craziness could happen to anyone. And I like that. It made it twice as scary, in my opinion. And while some may be bored by its slow pace, I liked how it took its time and let tension build. Um, I also, I really like the soundtrack of this show. Uh, the songs, I mean. The instrumental stuff was, eh, I'm not a big fan of the synth pop 80s nonsense, but... I mean, there's a good there's a good song selection here, and a lot of them were really catchy, and some of them were almost morbidly funny. Uh, I, I don't know. I really like the soundtrack. And Winona Ryder, who I'm not usually a big fan of, was really believable as the grief-stricken mother character, and she gave what might be her career-high performance, in my opinion. David Harbour was also pretty good as the sheriff, and I thought his backstory was legitimately tragic. I felt sorry for him. Best thing about the show, though, is Millie Brown as the character Eleven. Uh, her story was by far the most interesting. I, it was mysterious. I was hooked right from the start. And could we just get her, Ruby Barnhill, and Angry Rice to play all little girl roles from now on? That'd be nice. But seriously, her story arc is really good. It was it was more interesting than anything else on the show. And this show is pretty interesting. Um, she was my favorite character, easily. There are some flaws here, though. Uh, the show, in my opinion, is visually quite boring. Nothing really pops, even the paranormal stuff. I get that it's trying to look gritty and grounded, but I can't help but find the visuals pretty bland. And besides Brown, the child actors were okay, I guess, but I don't know. I thought they were they were just nothing special. Um, even the older kids, for the most part. I liked I liked Jonathan Byers. I liked his character. But other than that, I wasn't all that impressed by the child acting. And also some pretty underdeveloped villains. Uh, they were kind of boring. They were just one-dimensional government suit types, and there was nothing to them. But all in all, Stranger Things is fucking great. Um, I'd highly recommend it. I cannot wait to see a next season, and I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. This is T-Quentin 1 signing out.